Hey, Redcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to Aloise and Nod Goblin Nico, with special thanks to Mike Spark and Valenrook, who both helped sponsor the series. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, let's get started. And welcome back to Phoenix Point, as we continue trying to push back the tide. Now, I'm not going to beat around the bush here. My original plan was to head out towards Hope and uh, see if we could chase off that Scylla, follow it back to a Citadel, and knock another item off our to-do list. However, there's no guarantee we'll actually make it out there in time. And even if we do, we'll be stuck fighting a difficult mission at night with an under-equipped six-man squad. Not the most ideal scenario. I mean, let's be honest here. There's plenty of other citadels for us to find, and uh, we don't really care what Sanedrion thinks of us at this point. With that in mind, I was thinking we'd uh, set our sights on a slightly closer target of opportunity. That aside, I'd also like to see if we can still cheese the research raids. It was pretty easy in Backer Build 5. That said, I was thinking we'd send the B Squad towards Gerdzikov here, and hopefully they can start harvesting Sinadrion's faction exclusive tech. If this works out, we might even be able to grab all of it. As for the A Squad, we're pretty much done in South Africa for the moment, so we'll just have them regroup with the B Squad. Anyway, let's get in there. High difficulty. But if this plays out the way I think it will, that's really not going to matter. Okay, so our goal here is to steal three pieces of key research. In Backer Build 5, the mission would end as soon as you picked up that third piece. If that's still the case, then we just need to rush in, grab what we need, and uh, we can be on our way without ever firing a single shot. Let's see how this works out. Of course, if this doesn't work out, then Leroy is going to be stuck in a pretty rough spot. Okay, I think we can do this. We just need to bring Wizard out to grab that last piece. Time to lose. No 
rest for the weary. Ha! <laughs> Alright then. And there's Hot Goblin Nico with his well earned level up. Congrats, buddy. It's actually kind of interesting because I think they did try to address rushing. I noticed they uh, put the objectives much farther away from where we spawned in. But they also recently increased the movement bonus you get from dashing, so it kind of made it mood. Anyway, yeah, so it uh, looks like we can still cheese the research missions. Let's see what we got. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I apparently completely forgot about this. Advanced Technician Weapons. The new armor-piercing Goss Tech can be used to upgrade technician turrets and PDWs. Research complete. This merging of technologies has proven a complete success. The new turrets have surpassed expectations, being potentially capable of bringing down even the larger Pandorans. The new PDW design combines high agility with extreme firepower for the first time. Not too shabby. Now let's see what we got from Sinedrion. Nuclear Fusion Technology Energy production via nuclear fusion is the backbone of Sinedrion's technological ambitions. Research complete. In its early days, Sinedrion relied on sodium-cooled fast reactors, but this technology was eventually replaced with even safer and equally zero-emission nuclear fusion. Second-generation fusion technology now powers everything from homes to factories, providing clean energy at low cost. Well, not the most exciting tech, but um, yeah, we'll take it. Alright, so here's the deal. Now that we know we can cheese the research raids, I'm basically going back in there and stealing everything that Sinedrian has developed so far. I figure it'll take about an hour, and uh, it will get pretty repetitive, so you really don't need to see that. Instead, we'll hit the pause button, I'll do the rating off screen, and we'll just touch on the highlights. Sinedrian is going to end up hating us for this. After that, we'll uh, take a look at all the research we stole, and uh, then we'll move on to phase two. Did you know that a lifetime ago, I was part of the Phoenix Project? When the mist came, I waited and waited to be activated, but the call never came. I thought I'd been abandoned. I didn't understand how bad things were at Phoenix Point, but without Tobias, I would have died. People think he's some kind of dictator, and I understand why. He has a vision, and the means to realize it. We're not used to that kind of power, but power is exactly what we need in order to win this war. Speaking entirely for myself, an alliance between the Phoenix Project and New Jericho would bring together everything I've ever believed in. Please think about it. Yeah, about that. We're still skeptical. You've come this far. You can see that Tobias has a plan. Please don't lose faith now. Sorry, Sophia. Yes. Good, yes. You, you have, have succeeded. succeeded so far. Yes. yes. You have shown courage. Strength. Yes. Obedience. Submission. Faith, Faith above, above self. self. Yes. Demonstrate the divine principles. Strike down our enemies. Prepare for the day of judgment. Yes. yes. Nice. I actually really like the way they did that voice. 
Symmetrian. Apostles of a false creed. Humans at the top of creation. Lies. We are not evolved, not yet. Find their homes. Break their heathen beliefs. Show them the wrath of the dead god. Blood. Blood. Fire. Fire. In, In the, the streets. streets. Yes. yes. Well, we're obviously not friends with Sinedrion, but just on principle. This is barbaric. We refuse. Don't listen to the Synod and its mad ramblings. It has lost its way, lost sight of our ultimate goal. Too much dogma and too little understanding, if you ask me. This is not what the Exalted stands for, never has been. I have a much better mission for you. Help me retrieve what the Exalted needs from this Pandoran structure instead, and I'll put you in touch with her. Okay, sure. I mean, we're not going to do it, but... Let's have a look at what you want from us. Hmm. Well, that's actually right next to us. You know, maybe we will do it, just for the reward. We'll have to think about that. Anyway, we've got more tech to steal, so we'll be right back. Declaring war on the Phoenix Project is the last thing we ever wanted to do. But whatever the Phoenix Project used to be, it's not that anymore. So here we are. We are going to fight you, and we're going to win. Sure. Let me know how that turns out. Consider the individual human being. So much processing capacity, so much knowledge, all wrapped up in flesh and bone. Unique, inviolate, impossible to duplicate. We are remarkable, are we not? That is the source of our power, and of my current headache. I need access to a specific individual. Only this individual has the knowledge and abilities I need. His name is Ravi Chowdhury, a former computer technician at Pokhran 3. My records tell me that he used to work with members of your organization a long time ago. Perhaps you could retrieve him for me. Um, I'm probably not going to do that. From what I recall, Ravi Chaudhry is the guy who could, uh, theoretically give New Jericho access to all of India's nuclear arsenal, which just seems like a pretty bad idea all around. Excellent. I'm transmitting his coordinates as we speak. Gosh, thanks. You know, it does seem like a bit of a shame you can't just go recruit Ravi for yourself. I would have liked to uh, see more options here. Anyway, back to collecting tech. I think we're almost done. And we are back. Kind of. We have stolen all of Sinedrion's currently available research, and I wanted to go through this in-game, but uh, it turns out there were some weird issues with trying to stockpile the research while we were stealing it, so we'll just do this with screenshots instead. We'll try to make this quick. Sinedrion Battle Armor. Development of Armor. You don't say. Sinatrion scientists developed advanced armor designed more for agility and stealth rather than heavy protection. The Sinatrion combat philosophy is oriented towards deep reconnaissance and rapid deployment rather than direct engagement. Sinatrion aircraft technology. Sinatrion aircraft are powered by fusion cell technology and can carry a squad of five as well as a land vehicle. They are optimized for speed over carrying capacity. 
That's not accurate. They only have five carrying slots, so if you want to carry a land vehicle, you can only carry two additional soldiers. Sinedrion aircraft are based on fourth-generation hovercrafts modified for air travel. Powered by fusion cell technology, the aircraft can carry a squad of five or a land vehicle with two soldiers. The vehicle's relatively small capacity is compensated for by its high acceleration and maximum velocity. That is slightly more accurate. Sentient AIs While true AI was secretly developed before World War III, it was used primarily for military purposes. Sinadrion, however, recognizes the artificial intelligences developed by its scientists as full citizens. Research into artificial intelligence was a controversial subject in the early days of Sinadrion, but scientific freedom meant that, inevitably, artificial sentient life forms were eventually developed. The AI developed by Dr. Marco Matarani and his team, known as Barnabas, has produced several copies and versions of itself, and these, in turn, have created further offspring. All of these entities are recognized as full citizens of Sanadrion, participating in political and social life much like a human being would. Many of them are active in research, which they find stimulating, but others work as artists, entertainers, or even, in one case, psychologists. Laser Weapons Thanks to advanced miniaturization and new materials developed by Sinadrion, lightweight laser weaponry has become possible. Lightweight and silent, these weapons are capable of emitting directed bursts of high-intensity laser that will cause significant damage to living and non-living targets alike. Each laser weapon is powered by a universal fusion power cell that can be swapped out between all existing weapons. Uh, again, not accurate. Each type of laser weapon does in fact have its own unique type of power cell, though it would be nice if they were actually interchangeable. Neurotoxin Weapons Technology Weapons that employ neurotoxins should allow targets to be incapacitated without killing them. A synthetic neurotoxin has been developed which will allow us to paralyze targets without killing them. The neurotoxin slowly builds up in the target's body until the paralytic effect is achieved. Multiple doses may be necessary in some cases. Specialized weapons using this technology can now be produced. In short, weaker than the Neuraser, but uh, with the advantage of ranged attacks. Infiltrator Class The Infiltrator is a class of soldier designed to use stealth and long-range weaponry to resolve combat situations. While sections of Sinedrion support radical pacifism, in general, Sinedrion does not shy away from using violence where no other option exists. The Infiltrator is indicative of their approach to combat, Equipped with a long-ranged crossbow and a spider drone launcher capable of deploying multiple autonomous explosive drones, the Infiltrator is capable of entering enemy territory virtually undetected to obtain information and neutralize threats before they get out of control. We now have access to all Infiltrator tech and the full training program. Mist Repeller Development Mist Repeller technology would be a significant step towards keeping settlements and bases safe from incursion. Mist Repellers are based on a complex set of interconnected technologies, including nanite swarms capable of advanced molecular recognition and powerful magnetic field generators, making it finally possible to slow the encroachment of the mist. Mist repellers constructed within Sanedrion Havens will begin the process of reclaiming the Earth and are a key part of Sanedrion's strategy. Deployment of this technology will make bases and settlements considerably more safe, 
but does not by itself constitute a long-term solution to the Pandoran threat, as only the mist itself is affected. Furthermore, any repeller construction will certainly antagonize other factions and potentially result in conflict. We can use the technology for building repellers in our own bases and do our bit for the future of humanity. Like the description says, I don't believe the repellers actually prevent attacks, but it does reduce the strength of those attacks, making them a little easier to handle. Sanadrion Aspida Development A land vehicle useful both for reconnaissance and combat situations, with a built-in medical facility. Adapting aircraft technology, the Aspida is capable of hover movement, 45 centimeters from the ground, carrying up to three people at virtually infinite distances using existing fusion cell technology. In addition, the Aspina is equipped with automated field surgery robotics usable anywhere in the field. Basically, the Aspida is the ultimate combat medic, but it takes up three slots in your squad, so it's really hard to say if it's worth giving up those three soldiers. Poison Weapons Synthetic toxins could prove very effective in combat situations. A range of weapons has been designed, capable of delivering powerful synthetic toxins. The effects of these toxins ranges from mild nausea to hallucinations to explosive diarrhea, depending on the target's physiology and defenses. The tactical advantage of such unpleasant weaponry should be clear. Note, the poison will affect humans as well as Pandorans, so caution is advised. Advanced Paralyzing Weapons Advances in paralytic weaponry will allow soldiers to incapacitate enemies with greater safety. A new generation of paralytic grenades has been created, implementing breakthroughs in neuromuscular transmission blocking and improvements in our dispersion technology. Additionally, a modified long-distance rifle that uses paralytic rounds has been developed using the same tech. Nice. That will make it a lot easier to capture our first Crab Queen. Though it is important to remember, those paralytic rounds are expensive. Advanced Nanotechnology Nanotechnology has existed for decades, but new insights gleaned from studying the Pandora virus can be applied to create nanobots that can interface with human physiology and act in a protective capacity. These advanced nanobots, invisible to the naked eye but easily programmable via a portable control interface, can be used to automatically identify and eliminate a variety of threats to an operative's life from fire to viral infection. To achieve this, however, they must be spread across the individual's clothing, hair, and skin, and also be ingested. There are no known side effects. Well, that's reassuring. I'm also actually pretty sure they changed the research description from Backer Build 5. I'll have to go back and double check that. Yeah, for reference, uh, in Backer Build 5, they actually name-dropped Adrestia as the lead researcher on that project. She was the uh, secondary AI introduced in The Good Life in uh, briefing number 5. Not sure why they changed that. Venom Crossbow Development After being repeatedly injured by New Jericho forces, a member of Sanitrion's reconnaissance team has requested that she be provided with a crossbow with poison-dispensing bolts. Although unorthodox, her suggestion merits consideration. Combining standard crossbow bolts with the new toxins has proven to be a more tedious task than originally suggested. After spending hours perfecting a bolt head dispersal mechanism, the research team has decided that it would be easier to create a new type of crossbow using lightweight carbon fiber and an automated winch. The model has proven efficient in tests and is ready for mass production. 
no Sinitrion animals or people have been fatally harmed during the course of research. And that is everything we've stolen from Sinitrion. They've obviously got a few more projects in the works, but we'll steal those once they actually finish them. For now, though, let me go grab a drink, and, and then we'll get back to it. We're not quite done antagonizing Sinitrion just yet. And we're back. I think we've raided Sinedrion about a dozen times in a row at this point, and we never actually had to fire a shot. We are pretty worn out from all that dashing, though, so let's regroup at Phoenix Point, top our guys off, and then we'll move on to Phase 2. Looks like our secondary target is currently relocating. That could be a problem. Okay, looks like it's still pretty close by. As you may have deduced, it's about time for us to start collecting some additional aircrafts. We've got 10 guys sitting in PHB-1 and uh, we really need to get them mobile. Let's get the A squad kitted out and uh, then we'll head both manticores towards Jensburg. Hmm. Huh. That actually looks halfway decent. Alright, let's do this. Oof, extreme difficulty. Well, we know we're up against humans, so we'll bring in both priests. The mind control should come in handy. And we know that Sinedrion loves fielding snipers, too, so I guess we should uh, bring in an extra sniper of our own. We'll just hope that this one fares better than Lunacity did. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Oh, that actually looks pretty nice. I've never actually seen the model for that thing before. Well, they have uh, dumped us right out in the middle of a giant open area, which is just about the worst place to be. <laughs> So, the first thing we need to do is make a beeline for those buildings. On my way. Oh, let's get a priest up there, see where the enemies are hiding. Ah, we've got three up top. That guy on the rooftop does concern me a little, especially if it's a sniper. Let's see if uh, Valen can do something about that. 
be right there. We need spares. Well, I was hoping to take the roof out from under her, but uh, it sounds like we destroyed her weapon instead. That works too. Looks like the only immediate threats are these guys to our right. Let's prep for that accordingly. Providing Overwatch. position. All right, let's see how this goes. Uh. That's problem solved. <laughs> nice. Bulls oh, wow. Even nicer. Connection established. No gods, no masters. Those are either snipers or infiltrators. Either way, they're bad news. Nice hit from Aloise. Ah, shoot. Oh, okay. That was a sonic grenade. Succeeded. Alright, this guy is pretty harmless, but he's acting as a spotter. So, he has got to go. What's our move? It also looks like Rob is temporarily locked down. And we've got a bunch of potential snipers bearing down on him. That could get pretty nasty. Okay, first things first, let's take care of the stragglers here. I guess we could grab some free gear while we're at it.
Let's see here. We're already loaded down pretty heavily. There we go. Thank you for your service. You can go now. I guess you can go too. And let's get a look at what we're headed into. Looks clear. Green. Thank goodness I'm dead inside. All right, let's bring Mike up to secure the objective. That should start the final countdown. Actually, let's hug that cover on the other side. Okay, now we just need to hold out. Let's go for the uh, hidden targets. Nice. Five by five. I'm on my way. Now let's see if we can tag the other one. Well, we've uh, definitely messed them up. I'm just not sure if they're actually neutralized. Online. Okay, round three. Connection established. Infiltrator with a poison crossbow. Doing my part. Tell them I said so.
Just like we discussed. for direct action <laughs> he says as he runs away okay four coming up on the helios and i think three in the courtyard and rob is back in it i think we're in pretty good shape here Okay, that was a hit. In fact, that was a kill. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Looks like we had another one just out of sight. I'm here. Well, let's take care of that guy. Is another kill. Thank you, Eoftar. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't want to waste that Virophage kit. Here. Priest, we require your services. Now, we just have to deal with this mess. Thankfully, these guys are pretty demoralized, so that does make this easier. Okay, that's got to be another infiltrator. Crossbow is actually pretty good. Let's bring Nod up, load up on some extra gear. That guy is panicking, so no hurry.
I'm on the move. Overwatching. Holding position. Yeah, I think we've got this under control. Ready for action. Bonk. <laughs> they even die quietly. I respect that. to uh, offload gear to the snipers. Oh, and that was not what I meant to do. Be right there. Moving out. got a crossbow up top, too. Need to see if I can find time to grab that. Not sure we'll ever actually use it, but it is worth about 60 material. What's our move? Moving to coordinates. Holding position. No gods, no masters. Hmm. Looks like we've got one more incoming. Which really just means more free stuff. Zooming in.
Oof. We are starting to run a bit low on space, though. I'm ready. Overwatching. Okay, I think we're pretty much done here. What's our move? Ready for action. All set. Dashing ahead. Escalating aggression. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Guess we weren't quite as done as I thought we were. Moving out. go. Gotta say, that was a lot easier than I was expecting. Though uh, it could have gone very differently if San Adrian had actually fielded any snipers. Just luck of the RNG, I suppose. Nice, and a handful of extra loot, just as an added bonus. Not too shabby. Alright folks, that should put us pretty close to the 60 minute mark, counting the research segment I still have to record. Things got a little complicated there. We'll hit the pause button for now, but we will pick up here next time as we... You know what? We might go for that second Helios. Those things do work best in pairs. See you then. Oh, and remember, although I do love playing Phoenix Point, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official YouTube channel, the official Discord server, the official Facebook page, the official Twitter feed, or the original crowdfunding campaign over on Fig. Links are in the description.